Hi there, welcome to my channel, this is Mom Coach Wife. My name is Alina Michelle. If you are new here, welcome. If you have been here for a while, thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. Regardless, new or seen some of my videos before, make sure that you do subscribe, that helps my channel out a lot. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below. In this week's video, we are going to be talking about rediscovering yourself after motherhood. A lot of times moms can lose their identities after becoming a mother and sometimes it's not even from the first child, sometimes it's a second or a third one and everything gets very overwhelming and we end up losing our identities. So we're going to talk about rediscovering who you are after motherhood and learning to love yourself all over again. It's not uncommon for mothers to lose their identities in the process of becoming a mom. Our children are so important to us. We want to make sure that they're happy, healthy, and well taken care of every step of the way. And a lot of times that ends up resulting in us not taking care of ourselves and completely forgetting what we stand for, who we are, and what really makes our hearts sing. But it's not too late, it's never too late, even if you feel like you've lost yourself, you can always rediscover yourself, you can always come back to who you are or find out who you have become because we are forever changing. It's not that you're going to be exactly who you were prior to having children, but you may have some things that you used to enjoy that used to be a part of your life that you still want to be a part of your life. So one of the biggest things that helped me to rediscover myself was reaching back into my past and looking at some things that I used to do and I used to enjoy that I was no longer doing it at somewhere they had gotten lost um, out of my life. And some of those things were like not even interesting anymore. They were definitely a past part of my life. However, many of those things I was still interested in. It was still something that really spoke to me and something that I really wanted to be a part of my life. So when you reach back into your past, it allows you to kind of see who you were before you had so many responsibilities, before you had a child to put first, and then you can really remember who you were and that will help you decide who you are. So maybe you liked to take walks along the beach or maybe you liked to paint or you were getting into interior designing or something in the medical field or what have you and maybe it wasn't any of those things it could be something totally different but there may have been some things that you were doing prior to becoming a mother that really really made your heart sing and those things may still be of interest to you even if they're not things that were are still of interest to you the cool thing about reaching back in your past is that you're able to eliminate some ideas like maybe you don't want to pick painting back up maybe you really didn't like cooking past just your your basic meals or what have you so whatever little things you were into before that you don't like now you know that those are just not a part of who you are or who you want to be anymore but reaching back in your past helps you to at least start to get a foundation of rediscovering yourself and understanding who you are and what it is that's really going to make you feel fulfilled. In conjunction with reaching back into your past and knowing about the different things that interest you, one of the things that you really want to know are what are your personal values? What are things that are valuable to you besides just your family? Because the idea is to not tie everything into your family. Are you interested in things that align with your other values? 
maybe you value adventure so you want to travel the world or even travel the country that you're in and see what different adventures you can get into maybe you value friendship and it's a good time for you to reach back out to old friends or to those who you haven't spoken to a while and rebuild those relationships as well as building new ones maybe you really value your work or your personal um, balance and you might want to focus your interest on those particular values ultimately whatever it is that you're interested in or whoever it is that you are is always going to tie in some way back to the values that you hold so it's important that in this process of trying to figure out who you are and rediscovering yourself that you understand what your personal values are because if the things that you're trying to do don't align with those values oftentimes you're still going to be in the circle of trying to figure out who it is that you are and, and trying different things that don't actually fit into you as an individual and don't actually fulfill you and make you happy so understand what it is that is valuable to you what it is that makes your heart sing what it is that really makes you feel full because it's about filling your cup it's about making sure that you are waking up every day feeling like everything that you need is being provided and it's important that you learn how to provide that for yourself prior to giving all of yourself to others when you have more of yourself to give you don't feel so exhausted at the end of the day because you've given so much of yourself so it's again it's really really important to know what those interests are reach back into your past find out what it is that makes you tick find out what it is that you have absolutely no interest in anymore and, and even try new things once you kind of know the things that you do like um, maybe there's not very many anymore because they are all things that you can not imagine yourself doing anymore they don't align with your current values try new things try something that you've never tried before, join a new group and try new things again that align with those values that we talked about before. So if you truly value like innovation, then you're gonna want to go into things that are creative, that are actually creating new things and new innovations for, for yourself, for the world. Um, if you value creativity, you might want to join an art group or you may want to go out to like painting with a twist or all those kinds of events because those things allow you to be creative. Or maybe you want to take a creative writing class and do something like that so that you can really hone in on your value of creativity. and none of these things are like blanketed you have to do these specific ones but there's some ideas of what you can do uh, based on your values and and when you start to understand what your values are you can start to look into things that tie into those specifically and it, it's not super difficult you can't like again using creativity you can put in creative hobbies or um, creative groups near me and see what comes up and if any of them interest you just give them a try it doesn't hurt to try something new in this process of rediscovering yourself you're not gonna necessarily find out who you are in like 30 minutes it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some work so be willing to go out there and put in the work and give that effort of trying out something new should one of your values be wealth or leadership, you might want to look into starting a new career or getting um, some advancements in your current career or starting a business or learning about financial literacy, you know, because those may be things that are really, really important to you when you have wealth or leadership as a value. And if you don't even have any idea what your real values are, I recommend you just Googling like the core values, looking up um, personal values and finding out some different ones that exist. And that may help you to kind of understand what yours are. It's sometimes it's like an unspoken thing that you kind of know what you value, but to sit back and think about it, you may draw a blank. And if you do, that's fine. It's normal. 
that's why we have the internet that's why we have google that's why we have youtube you can go online you can start to research different values and figure out what what ones actually tie into who you are and and how you feel as you begin to really like dig into like i said your past and your values one really cool thing to do is create a bucket list and if you don't know what a bucket list is it's basically a list of all these different things that you want to do um, before you pass on so this list should be a bunch of different things that are interesting to you it's specifically for you maybe for you and a significant other but you really want to focus on um things that you're interested in doing so a lot of times things like skydiving or going to see a specific country or city is like very common to be found on bucket lists so anything that you want to try anything that you want to experience those things can all go on a bucket list and this is not something you have to do when you're like 70 80 90 years old um, and if you are that old then start now <laughs> but it's not that you have to do these things later in life this list is just a list of things that you want to do before you pass on so you can do them at any age at any time you just want to experience them at some point in your life so make a bucket list find out different things that you just want to try and that's going to help you try new things too so if you want to like snowboard or um, go to the theater or things like that make that bucket list and it's essentially goals for for your life and as you see different things that you want to do then you can start to if you need to save up for them save up for them you can start to research where you would go to actually experience these things um, how you would go about it if you are into traveling what kind of groups you may be able to link up with to travel um, to the places that you want to see so it's so much easier when you know so make that bucket list figure out what things you want to do before you die and that helps you to kind of again know who you are what things make you tick what you um, want to experience so regardless of if you're a mom or not there's going to be some things that you probably want to do before you die and they probably don't all include your children and that's totally fine everything does not have to include them um, it's actually very healthy and very wise to have things for yourself and speaking of things not including them in this entire process remove your children from the equation like you don't want to have them being a part of the conversation of what it is that makes you you yes they are definitely an impact on our lives as mothers we would not be the women that we are today without our children that goes without saying but that doesn't mean that we're not individuals aside from having our children you may go and have an experience and then want to share with your child later down the road or you may have the experience with them but one of the greatest things is to be able to have an identity so that they can see who their mother really is if your whole world is wrapped around them they will never know who you really are you have to know who you really are first and show that to them so there may be experiences that they're even missing out on because you don't ever remove them from the equation when you think about things that you actually want to do so remove them from the equation figure out who you are what makes you tick what makes you happy and what really interests you and that will also show them also who who you are and give them a different appreciation for their mother because they see the person that she is and not just the servant to some degree that she is when we make everything about them it's about servicing their lives and not about who we really are and what wealth we bring to the world and you bring a lot of wealth to the world believe it or not not just to your child but to the entire world and it's important that you understand that and i hope that you feel better about going out and rediscovering yourself from the things that we talked about in today's video it's totally normal if you've lost yourself during motherhood and the process of becoming a mother after your children have left maybe you feel as if you don't have an identity but you do it's just something that you have to dig deep down inside and seek out but it's not 
as hard as you might think it is. Um, there will be possibly some tough times, especially depending on how long it's been since you've really known the woman that you see in the mirror. Um, but it's not impossible. It just takes some time, some patience, and some love for yourself to actually figure out who you are, rediscover yourself, and start to love you again, regardless of if your children are living with you or have moved out. It's important that you love yourself and you know who you are so you can share that, not just with them, but with the entire world. Thank you for watching this week's video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Drop a comment and hit the bell for notifications. And remember, you can connect with me outside of YouTube also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.